In one sense, uh, this is rather commonplace sentiment, uh, it would be far better ethically if we were all uh, more empathetic and compassionate towards each other. Um, but there is also a sense, though a controversial sense, in which I think it would be more rational if we were to take a God's eye view and impartially weigh the desires and interests of all sentient beings before acting, i.e. the case for using technology to overcome our biological limitations, to phase out involuntary suffering, disease, aging, intelligence amplification, isn't purely an ethical case. I personally feel uh, there is a rational case for doing so. Now, this runs counter to a whole uh, body of meta-ethical theory that says that there are no such thing as objective values, that value judgments uh, are neither true nor false. But nonetheless, just as from an individual perspective, if one has uh, a set of goals, set of uh, values and preferences, and one wants to implement them, uh, there, are there are rational and irrational ways to do it. Likewise, if one takes the scientific world picture seriously, one should adopt this God's eye view, so to speak, in which all possible first-person perspectives are on a par, and should be treated on a par. Uh, and if one does have this God's eye view, then one won't uh, be prey to anthropocentric bias any more than one should be prey uh, to ethnocentric bias. Uh, essentially adopting this God's eye view, it's taking seriously all possible p perspectives uh, and acting accordingly. Now, that's all a bit abstract and philosophical, but if we assume, as seems quite likely, that technology will allow some form of naturalised telepathy, then what at present would uh, tend just to be a uh, uh, a conjecture, a hypothesis, that other uh, subjects experience are similar to oneself could actually be uh, empirically established. This is the old philosopher's problem of other minds. If you recall, the, 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 the philosophical sceptic will ask, how does one know that one isn't uh, surrounded by zombies? Uh, and the consensus seems to be that it is impossible to prove but if it were the case, for example, one could establish reversible thalmic bridges to uh, other, other brains, then it would be possible to actually experience the world uh, to become, at least uh, briefly, uh, jointly a subject of experience with uh, another agent. This, something like this may occur in the case of, uh, of, of conjoined twins who share, share a brain, but in, in, in future it might be possible to engineer something similar uh, with other humans, indeed non-human animals. Um, essentially, uh, at present we do have this profound epistemological limitation that we are, each of us uh, is surrounded by other sentient beings, uh, or what appear to be sentient beings, but we can't be sure that they're not zombies. Uh, whereas in future it will be possible, I think, to view each other as fellow subjects of experience.